The next year for Planet, I believe, is an extremely exciting year. We launched Destination History about two years ago, and the whole proposition of the initiative was to, in many ways, look at our whole cultural, historical, and heritage offering. And I don't believe that there is anywhere in this country that can compete with East Kent when it comes to history and culture. And from that initiative, we've pulled together about 100 people, whether you be involved in restaurants, hotels, attractions, supporting the tourist sector. We've got people who represent our high streets here today. And we've got a lot of councillors and, and people from the Visit Kent and Visit Planet organisations. We have pulled together a group that wants to work collectively for the benefit of our area. And I believe that we now are in a position to make next year, in many ways, a very, very important platform to market Thanet and Sandwich as one of the premier destinations. And I would like to firstly introduce Victoria Pomery, who, as we all know, is there at the spearheading the opening of the Turner. And I think that we've all got to recognize that we have got an international asset in the Turner Contemporary and that it will make a huge splash nationally. We all need to get on the back of that and ensure that people come and use our hotels, restaurants, see other attractions in Thanet and using the big platform that we have with Turner. So I'd like to introduce Victoria and thank her very much for coming. about our program for next year. As I think you've all read and heard and seen in the in the media, um, we are opening on Saturday the 16th of April 2011. Very, very exciting moment for us at Turner Contemporary, but also a really exciting moment for Margate, East Kent, Kent and the country, because we believe that Turner Contemporary is very much part of the national infrastructure of visual arts and Nick Cole's sort of 
dreams that we've been talking about for quite a few years, but you've been thinking about for even longer. And one of the stories that I thought was particularly interesting was in these hardened times, um, Nick was saying to me that there, it was the shareholders that were demanding that this museum be created to ensure that they didn't just have the benefits of investing in a great company, but could also come down and have a look at all the wonderful trains and the scale electrics and the airfields, etc. And I think it's, again, yet another international magnet for us and something that we all need to ensure is part of our marketing plans, is part of our understanding of what we've got to offer. So, Nick, thank you very much indeed. Well, I, I feel the complete fraud here because um, this isn't my day job. I make trains. So, um, but uh, as Laura says, over, over the years we've, we've actually grown in the last 10 years and uh, we've acquired some businesses that you'll see in my presentation. And every time we've acquired a business, we've uh, acquired an archive. And I know a, a lot of companies over the years probably sell their, the family silver, but we feel obliged. Every, every time we see these archives, we think someone's lovingly put these away um, so that uh, uh, collectors in the particular brands can see them um, for many years to come. Anyway, for the last uh, 10 years since I've been at Hornby, these have been in cardboard boxes. So we thought it's time to get them out, and that's where, where we've gone. And uh, now I'd like to introduce Stuart, who is here from Salutation Sandwich. I have a personal interest in linking Sanit and Sandwich together, obviously because the constituency encompasses Sandwich as well. But if you look at the historical cultural narrative of East Kent, Sandwich is an intrinsic part of our story. And when you start to say, you know, we've got the most beautiful medieval town, the most perfect medieval town in the country in Sandwich. This is part of this extraordinary architectural story that we have going from Sandwich through to Regency Ramsgate, <coughs> Victorian Broadstairs, Edwardian Margate, and Art Deco, and extraordinary and very special buildings in Birchington and on the North Coast. We are a very special area, and Sandwich is part of that, and I'd like to welcome you to give a presentation about Salutation. I hope some of you have been, been there, but those who haven't, have you got any tickets? <laughs> Free entry in December. Hiya. I'm here to talk about, about Secret Gardens, obviously, but one thing that uh, Victoria mentioned, I think, from the Turner Centre, uh, was uh, creativity. Uh, and if you do get the chance to go down to Secret Gardens uh, or Sandwich or the Salutation, have a look at the three and a half acres of, crea uh, of creativity that's gone into the garden patterns there. We've got something like 40,000 uh, bulbs being planted just at the minute. We've got 345 different trees in there. Uh, we've got a full organic garden uh, where the insects self-propagate somehow. Everything is environmentally friendly. Um, it's an absolutely brilliant proposition. Ruth is going to be talking about 2012 and that is the Dickens anniversary and again this is about putting it into our plans and showing that we can see where we're heading from the point of view of our history and tourism opportunities. So thank you very much Ruth for visiting. Morning everybody. Um, I work countywide and I can genuinely say there are more exciting things happening in this area of Kent than anywhere else. And we at Visit Kent are really excited to be working closely with Laura and with Thanet District Council to really maximise and promote those opportunities. And one of those opportunities is Dickens 2012. It's the 200th anniversary of his birth. And we know at Visit Kent that anniversaries are really great hooks to raise the profile of your destination.